Okay, so I finally got the digital cluster um, temporarily wired up into my truck for uh, testing purposes. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of a mess here, just sitting up on the dashboard with wires running everywhere. But I just wanted to do an initial test just to you know check all the indicator lights and make sure the gauges are acting correctly before I do more extensive testing. So I want to go over everything real quick. We'll start here on the left side of the cluster. Um, that this first gauge here, this is your oil pressure. Um, the gauge next to it is going to be your voltage gauge. Um, the one down here is uh, water temperature. And then finally over here, uh, that's your uh, uh, fuel level in percentage. Then your indicator lights, uh, that's your check engine light here on top. Um, the next one underneath is uh, your anti-lock brakes. And then the, uh, the one on the bottom is the brake warning light. And when I turn the truck on, you'll see these indicator lights match the uh, factory lights exactly. All right, so here in the middle, um, three-digit speedometer um, and a six-digit odometer with a resettable trip. And yes, it does go past uh, 300,000 miles. Then over here, um, this is your uh, tachometer. Um, this is going to be RPM times 1,000, and it's going to bar graph all the way around, as well as having the, uh, the digit readout here in the center. Um, there's also some warning indicator lamps on this board also. Um, down here in the bottom, excuse the uh, camera movement, I'm trying to do everything uh, by myself. Um, that's your uh, your battery light or your charge light, charge indicator, and it is LED and you'll see that everything works. And then over here is your seat belt warning light. And then finally up on top is your high beam indicator. So um, also your, uh, your regular indicators down here in the bottom, um, you got your uh, left left turn signal. Um, I forget what this one is, but it actually doesn't apply to my truck. Um, this is your uh, airbag warning indicator. And then over here on the other side, these three, of course, you got your uh, uh, right turn signal. And then these two are your uh, um, four-wheel four drive and uh, low range. I forget which one's which, but if my truck was four-wheel drive, they would be lighting up also. All right, let me back out a little bit here so you can see the uh, factory cluster. And uh, I already did turn it on and kind of check it out. Um, the only thing that does not seem to be working right now is the tack. And I suspect that's because I still have the factory tack hooked up also. And I think it's actually interfering with it. But um, we're gonna, we'll are gonna investigate that in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the key on. And hopefully I, I can get this camera back far enough so you can see everything. Um, you can watch the indicator lights on both clusters match. So let me go to turn this on here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my turn signals on. The left turn signal, right turn signal, and let me see if I can turn the headlights on and you'll watch this dim when I turn them on. There we go. And see if the high beam works. High beam works. All right, so that's all set. Now I have the uh, the back of the truck up in the air um, so I'm going to fire this thing up and uh, let, uh, let the clutch out and let the speedometer count up a little bit. So bear with me here, guys. And you can see the, the battery light went out on both clusters. And if you look at the uh, left-hand four gauges, the, uh, the one on the top right, that's your battery voltage, 14.2. As I said, the uh, the tachometer doesn't work, and I'm pretty sure that's because the the factory tachometer is hooked up also, and I, it's probably eroding the signal away, so mine can't read it. But uh, that's one thing to check out. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Okay, parking brakes off. Let me turn the parking brake on. Yeah, my switch is kind of messed up. You saw the light flash there a second. Take it off. There we go. There's your parking brake indicator. Now we got it released. Now, just to test the speedometer, I'm going to go ahead and put it in gear and let the clutch out. And again, back of the truck's up in the air, and I do not recommend you guys try this at home. There we go. Clutch is out. Back wheels are turning. I can feel them. And we'll go ahead and rev it up a little bit.
that's about as fast as I want to go sitting here on jack stands. And I stepped on the brake and stalled the truck out. All right. But you can see, you can see the battery voltage working. You can see the oil pressure, which is now sitting at zero. Um, water temperature, it looks like it says 150. And the gas gauge is at 71%. So, uh, pretty good initial test. Um, we're going to um, see what's going on with the tack and see if we can get that working and maybe start finishing up some of the plastic. So, again, I appreciate the support from you guys and I appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, one step at a time and we're getting there and this is a big step forward. So, all right, till next time, guys.